They killed my parents. This burden that you carry, are you sure it's not too heavy for you? I see everything. The darkness is weeping. Revenge. They invaded my kingdom. Slaughtered my people without mercy. Your mother was one of us. That makes you one of us. Kenbe and Yige Ibido. Snake. Or snake. If you have enough power to defeat her the first time. Who are you? I'm very beautiful, smart, passionate, and I'm a bit of a girl. <laughs> Any questions? Lemaya. Nekamo. If there's anything I remember from the old Neka, the pretty sap song. Nekamo. And the Lemaya Keta. Anyway, it was different from the first one, but an adaptation that I really, really enjoyed. I have still not seen the first Neka, the pretty sap. Like I keep seeing in all these new adaptations, this new improvement, this new remake of all this living in bondage rattlesnake okay, they've not done circle of doom i know they will do circle of doom but anyway welcome to another amazing time with me my name is chacha wabara if you haven't subscribed do hit on the subscribe button turn off your post notifications so that you'll be alerted when new videos come up thank you so much for joining me today we'll be reviewing the movie neka the pretty serpent it's a 2020 nigerian movie starring notable actors and actresses like dia isien Ndidi Obi, Shafi Bello, Bimbo Ademoye, Choma Akota, Kenneth Okole, Devlin Naya, Chima Okafo, Kepi Epe Yombasi, Zak Oji, Bogi Uboma, Beverly Osu, Waje, and Laroy Gadja. Okay, now this movie has to do with a girl who witnessed the death of her parents and um, grew up always sad, always lonely. This movie was directed by Tosin Igo and a lot of two hours, 20 more of assignment that they gave to me. I enjoyed watching this Neka the Pretty Serpent. Neka the Pretty Serpent is a movie that, that seen Rattlesnake, I just wanted to see what was up. Yet again, Ramsenua did that thing he always does. Why am I seeing Ramsenua in this movie? Why am I seeing Ramsenua turning up like, you know, coming to come and say you'll be seeing more of me or something like that, I know who you are. Why must he feature in the movie just because he has connection to it? If he wants to feature in the movie, then he should just take up a role. Instead of coming, he's trying to be mysterious and all of that because I didn't find it funny. Um, well, maybe he wants to join everything and act. Maybe he wants to come up with Die Wretched or Circle of Doom. I don't know, but let's see what is going to come up with because that character, Richard, keeps on popping up in various movies that he's featuring in these days. Even you will see him in Sun Slay and his name is Richard Day. I know he has a thing for Richard, but anyhow, anyhow, Richard that never dies. Okay, Richard that knows everything. All right, Richard that is not human. Wonderful. Okay, so now this movie has to do with this girl uh, from the Snake Kingdom who her parents were killed and she grew up looking for answers that she couldn't find and she was always sad. She had this dark cloud around her. Her friend was Bimbo Ademuye. The thing that struck me was that, you know, the movie was unbelievable. I don't know how to explain it. A movie that you would see both Igbo and and English, you know, views. So we keep on saying, uh, like when I was going, to be like, okay, um, she's speaking English, but that means you're combining Igbo and English together. Okay, moving forward. Now, this she grew up and she was working as a waitress 
in uh, a restaurant and um, she didn't really have a good experience there but her friend Kenneth Okole would always come and see her really friend 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 but Kenneth Okole was you know walking good background and all of that now the movie is scattered what I did not understand at some point was when she was going to work with Bimbo at the Moe and she says she saw her mother she gets down from the bus and starts to walk now walks into this uncomfortable building and there and then she now sees this lady who is supposedly crazy or what 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 now takes her and starts to touch her palm and says go i can see revenge and evil and blah 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 you will not be able to tear yourself from me what what is that what is the meaning of that scene what is going on now can you just walk into an uncompleted building and you know just like that you will just see a woman waiting for you to tell you your life history and all of that please nigerian stop it directors and producers do something real fine we know that we usually say what are the odds or it's coincidence and all that but you know there are some things that don't ring true if you want to portray your movie right then do the right things that you ought to do place these characters in a place that you know will have a plausible understanding or you know reaction okay i didn't understand that part at all and then the movie progresses i don't have any problem with it some of the scenes were a bit too dark for me to see so i couldn't really connect with those scenes that much but it was a good watch i liked how she started picking them off one by one and killing them and you know the correlation now i don't understand chioma akota's role dear fine she was one of the snake people and blah 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 but it's hot and cold nothing no form no name and at the end of the day back to square one it just annoyed me i was put off by it but the role the place the people that kept me watching or the person that kept me watching was actually Kenneth Tupoli because Kenneth Tupoli brought out the brilliance of the Neka character Without Kenneth Okole, I wouldn't even be watching the main character, Dia Xien, because in Dia Xien number one, when you pick up a role, your role is like you're an evil girl, and there's some sort of evil to be spoken. Learn the evil, learn that language, learn the things that you're supposed to. The accent of Bimbo Ademoye was even better than the, the main lead, and she's not even evil to start with. So why couldn't she have mastered that evil speaking properly? So no one would even sense that she's not a native. That's what makes movies brilliant. That the brilliance of the actors or the actresses. Imagine Bimbo Ademoye speaking better Igbo than the main female lead. I didn't get. I didn't get at all. The character of Shafi Bello was awesome. The character of Kepi Epeyong, wonderful. The character of Zach Oji, it's been a while I saw Zach Oji in a movie, me, anyway, I enjoyed his character. It was amazing. In the DOB, ah, fine. You know, I liked how Ramsey Noah tried to retain some of the old actors from the former Neka the Pretty Serpent. He always does that and it's really nice of him. He tries to couch it in such a way as to make it, you know, a remake. So it was wonderful. It was nice. I love the shooting, the effects, the, the um, camera positioning and all of that. It was nice. It was good. It was great. Um, Bovi, I don't understand him, but he did great in the movie. Yeah. And then I liked how the movie ended. The movie ended in a wonderful way. It would have been much better if I did not see Ramsey Noir in the movie at all, leaving that unanswered question. Okay, which brings me to the end of this movie. I'm going to be rating this movie 7 over 10. Up there, you'll see my Korean movie reviews, my Nigerian movie reviews, my Chinese movie reviews. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.